Hello, I'm Ashley with Girls Who Code, back with step one of part two in the Wizard's Wish game tutorial. Now that we know the parts of a game, what part of our game should we program first? For this activity, we'll start with the components. In this step, we'll learn how to upload sprites into Scratch, upload the main sprite, and change the size of our sprite. Sprite is the name that Scratch uses to define the object controlled by code. We like to think of a sprite as the character in our program. Let's start by creating a new project. You can code along with the video or watch it first, then write your code using the to-do list under the video. When you open a new program, you will see that the cat sprite is always uploaded into a Scratch program. First, we'll delete the cat so that we can choose our own sprite. Click on the trash can above the cat to delete it. Now, let's choose our own sprite. Hover over the blue button in the Sprite List panel in the lower right. This will open the Choose a Sprite menu. When we hover over this button, we will see that there are four different options to choosing a sprite. The first option is to upload a sprite. We would use this option if we were going to upload our own picture that we had saved to our computer. The next option is Surprise. If we click this button, Scratch will randomly choose a sprite from the collection of sprites in their library. The third option is to paint a sprite. When we select this option, we are given a blank canvas where we can create our own sprite. The final option is to choose a sprite. This will open Scratch's library of sprites to choose from. Let's click this fourth option and take a look at all of the sprites Scratch has to offer. Once we are in the sprite library, there are many sprites to choose from. It is helpful to use the headings on the top of this page when we are looking for a specific sprite. We'll use the wizard toad sprite for this activity. But if you see another sprite that you want to use instead, go for it. Just keep in mind that your program will look different than ours in future steps. Once we have clicked the sprite, it is imported into the stage. You can upload many sprites into a project, but for this activity, we will just use one sprite. Notice how there is a blue outline around our wizard toad name. This helps us know which sprite we are creating code for when we use multiple sprites in a program. Below the stage, you'll find options to format our sprite. Let's look at the size feature. The size defaults to 100 pixels. We use pixels to describe the size of a digital image. The larger the pixel value, the bigger our sprite will become, and vice versa. We'll set our wizard toad to be a size of 70 pixels, but you can set it to the size you want. That's it for step one. For a recap of the tasks covered in this video, check out the to-do list below. We've also included debugging tips in the documentation in case you get stuck. In the next step, we'll learn how to upload a backdrop for our program.